G'day, and welcome back for more Assertive Combat Systems building, because the modding is almost entirely done. I just need to add the audio. It means I can actually get back to building stuff, which is, I think, what I have the most fun with these streams. Because um, I get to build something cool, or I get to try and design something different. And because the modding work is almost all done now, I need a thumbnail. And previously I'd used, um, well, I'd used the ladybug as the thumbnail and it's a bit blocky. I don't think it's the best thumbnail ship. So what I want to design before releasing the mod is a thumbnail ship. A flagship, if you will. Something that is visually impressive enough to draw the eye and bring some... make you want to see it in-game. Um, it was when I was uh, doing the updates of this and I remembered how cool, you know, a lot of these ships look. And I was like, I really just want something that, in a thumbnail, is going to have a really dynamic pose and, you know, can can look really, really good. And... Let's see if I can actually manage to do that or not, because there's every chance that I'll try and I'll fail and I'll just go, yeah, let's just put the, let's just use the other one again. Um, so we'll see. Uh, first off, save as. Uh, actually, I might have had a separate build save. Let me see. Thumbs nail ship. Wow. <sighs> Graz. Also, the doctor, I am standing. I was all ready to nice be chilled and seated, and you did the sit up stand down because I re enabled it just before I went live. Um. I can't remember if I had any other mods in the build ones. Ah, well. Uh, one of the things I was thinking about was... Flagship build, space cargo ships, atmo ships, drones. One of the things I was thinking about is to make an interesting looking ship by shape, we need to incorporate some negative space into the ship. There has to be some gaps, some bits that stick out, some something to create it in a shape that isn't a brick or a cylinder, which is really just a rounded brick. Um, so one of the thoughts I had was to do something along the lines of what I've done with these drones, but I'm not sure that's going to work at large scale. Um, this is probably my favorite drone, the Space Wasp. I think I got the design most interesting and the scale suits it just right but that was kind of one angle i was thinking the other one was going for that whi style ship where you've got kind of the that's actually a similar design to what's used on the guppy as well it's that heavy nose leading to a sleek back tail but i was thinking of making the tail part a bit chunky as well so let's get started should probably get started on this. Um, one of the ways I keep track of my saves is just by having a lot of them. <laughs> I do try and name them. I try and name my saves constructively, because otherwise I'll never find anything. But I also have folders. You can put your saves into subfolders. Graz, there should be a way for me to apply the NPC thruster boost to the assert thrusters when they're on an NPC. So the sort of thought I had in mind was something a little bit like this, with this heavier segment up front leaning up, leading up to a slimmer part, not with the ribs like this, but a slimmer part going along, and then having two arcing segments that come back down, 
so it can land on its nose and on these side pods. So unlike this one where the side pods kind of come from underneath, this would come from the top. And that would be done in a brighter colour and then we do some grey underneath with maybe a few splashes of something else. What I need to do first is get rid of everything in this save. There we go. Now we're all nice and clean. Oh, yeah, that's right. Nev, the NPC thrust boost is technically a block replacer, isn't it? Mmm. So you wouldn't be able to replace the assert thrusters because it would actually replace the block. Oh, well. Uh, what colour to start with? I will start with white. Because then I can just work on shape first. So I'm going to start with something fairly large. Just so that if I can manage to make it smaller, great. If I can't, then at least I've got enough. I've got something big enough. Do I make it annoying and make it... Paired symmetry. In fact, I should probably turn symmetry mode on. Uh, 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 uh. So that should give me a decent backbone. What exactly is a thumb ship? A thumb ship is a ship for a thumbnail. That is what a thumb ship is. I thought I'd um, coin my own term of sort of for that. Uh, I'm going to rough this out and then finesse it once uh, I've got it roughed. Because I think, I think it'll be helpful to have a little bit of uh, a little bit of something to work from first. Um, actually, you know what? Maybe not. Ah, oh, I'll leave that there for now. Full asymmetric is the way. They'll be asymmetrical. Um, but not in the outer shape. The inner part will be quite asymmetrical. So what I'm thinking... Ugh, I'm going to have to change up these shapes so much. I might just do this all in blocks. Let's just do this in full-on pixel art first. And then we can figure out which curves work and which shapes need to be adjusted. What the? Why can't I place that block? Oh, because apparently that's an entirely separate shape. I see. I didn't snap it to it. Whoops. Hey, Lucas. Yep. A thumb ship made for a faction run by a guy called Thumbs. Exactly. Also for a thumbnail. Um, yeah, form follows function is... I think something that helps me design something small, but for something big, I think form first is often a good approach because form first and then fitting all of the necessary bits in um, tends to help me actually come up with a much more interesting looking shape. Because once you get over a certain size, going 
purely for form follows function, I think... You run out of function to give yourself an interesting form? Also, this will help me determine what scale of things are actually going to look like an interesting shape. So this will hopefully, once I've roughed this out, give you guys an idea of what I had in my head. I definitely think for something like this, having it roughed out in cubes first is helpful. Uh, yes, I do have undo active. Though when working like this, I don't think it's it's too important just yet. So this, the idea I had was for this to be sort of the outer, outer shape, and then if we go and grab a darker grey, I was potentially going to use all of this space inside for interior space, but done in a darker colour. So that'll be where the thrusters are, that'll be where all the necessary componentry is hidden, that's where the, the quarters will be on board the ship, everything like that. And was thinking of trying to... Um, try and see how sleek I can make this shape with the current of currently available armor blocks. I'm not sure what is going to be possible. But I'm hoping something. <laughs> I think it'll need some tricksy maneuvers to get things to look cool. Hey Tex! Plot twist, this is just the front bumper. <laughs> but yeah, that was kind of, this was my rough idea I had in my head of something that I thought could be a cool design that I, that hasn't really been utilized a lot because the scale is difficult to work in for ACS given the tight PCU limit I've, I put on the submissions. Yes, uh, Lohin, the Amar is definitely where my thoughts were going when I thought about making this ship. I I played Amar in EVE Online, for those who are unfamiliar, um, and it was that, the design philosophy that they used for making those ships that I, I really thought would look, would look cool if we could pull it off in Space Engineers. Um... Jex, the role I envisage this fitting is just a regular old cargo ship. This is just a regular one. It's not a fighter one. It's not something special. It's... I just wanted something that had a very distinct look and could be easily recognizable. But I also wanted the thumbnail ship for ACS to be something that of my own design. Um... From, like, my own from scratch design. With the shape, I thought you were <laughs> building an actual thumb ship. No. Alright, so that's my, that's my rough design. I think that'll help us work on shapes without losing the overall feel.
So what I thought would be best here is to probably work on the armor shell, get it pristine, get it all correct, and then I'll see how much space I've got on the inside, which should actually be quite a bit. Like, we could easily fit large cargo containers under here, um, as well as living quarters in this volume. And as long as it's in a dark colour, it'll still create that negative space. Yeah, I'm going to attempt a smooth shell, but I think it's going to have to be fragmented smooth shell. Um, which is going to be the interesting dilemma of where do I make the cuts? Because we obviously don't have the perfect shapes to be able to make a complete smooth shape. So what I'm thinking might be a good idea is kind of go around in bands of two blocks. So do two blocks leave a sort of a half gap and then do another two blocks, leave a little half gap and then do the top segment and do similar down the sides. Um, we'll see. I'll see how I go with this first row and then um, I think this is going to be an iterative process. It's going to be something that's a do it bit by bit and see how it looks and then Adjust it. Don't get too attached to any particular style or approach that I've used and keep adapting as I go and... Yeah. <laughs> I think getting too stuck on one particular design idea I have might be a, would be a big mistake here. I need to be willing to change things as I go. Keep the lower part square. Then let's do this. Let's just cut that. And then see what we can do. I have no idea whether this is going to even work at all. Uh, I guess that's the fun. Uh, yeah, the Amar, Amar ship designs in EVE Online are a bit Art Deco, yeah. The Art Deco cross with gold. Lots and lots and lots of gold. Hmm. No, that's the downside of this approach. It's going to be really blocky up the front and I actually do want a slope here. Alright, let's change this up. That's not going to work. Um, hmm. I think maybe that's the slope to try and transition through. Yeah. Yeah, that's the pace. Um, then... Oh, maybe not. Yeah, this is going to be tricky. <laughs> it's going to be real tricky. Uh, 
Uh, oh, that. That way. That's what I want. I think I'm hearing this chomping noise from behind me and it's Charlie chewing on one of her nails. I think she might have caught it on something. Oh, hang on. Uh, do I go that, then... Oops. That, then one of these. Is this going to work? Yeah. Okay, that's a curve I can work with. Maybe that's the curve I put on the bottom. Or maybe I just continue this shape downward now. My dog bites his nails all the time, so we don't have to cut them. Yeah, I guess she's sort of doing that. Uh, not that one. That looks weird. This one. Yeah, that's the shape. I thought we'd have the shape. I knew it would just take a little bit of um, fiddling around until it started to come together. So I think this row is at the right level with that nice curve that it's got as it transitions between the angles. I could bring it an extra block in um, with those angle bits, but I think it looks good having a bit of a bull nose on this thing. Had some eyes and it's almost a face. Everything I build is a face. <laughs> I don't know why, but everything I build is a face. Um, it's just... Yeah. Apparently I build faces. Oop. Um, being essentially a hero ship, do you plan on making this survival ready at all? Um, if I can... But I'm not going to be strict on it. Obviously it would be nice for this one to be proper and functional and everything. But if it can't be without completely ruining the aesthetic, um, aesthetic's going to come first. No, I don't need a face cam. Although I was I was thinking about the face cam thing after the Lego streams stream um, and with future Lego streams planned, like where I have to fix the differential where I accidentally put one too few gears in again. Um, so I'm going to do a bit of a bland shape and then we'll add some detailing into what I think is the best way to go here. Uh, Obviously, this bit's just a bit boring down the bottom, but I'll do some adjustments to it once we've got the rest of the shape in place. I think for this sort of thing, it's much better for me to do it piecemeal and gradually get this better and better. have a block that's going to work here. I don't think we're going to. So it's sort of that one. Uh, but then I'd want this one that way and then this should be that way and this one's this one 
These are kind of dictating themselves. Ouch! Ouch. Calling me Danny DeVito? Rude. <laughs> Yeah, maybe I'll go with that, and then I'll do the angle in on this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's coming together, slowly. And the fun bit's going to be putting a cockpit into this. I have an idea on that, and... It might be something that's... Uh... I will use elsewhere too, because I really quite like the concept once it, once I accidentally used it. Can't believe we've actually got all the bits needed for this sort of shape now. Like this shape wasn't possible not that long ago. Ah. Oh. Uh, what do I do here? I think I go to this. I just hope that's not too low for me to start doing that angle. Uh, and we'll have one of these. It's, it's kind of nice to be able to make a large, slightly blocky curve instead of a large plane of shapes that could be a curve if you squinted at it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it is. It is nice to be able to do this. Um, even though I know some of you have heard me say, have we got too many shapes now? <laughs> so I'm still not convinced that we don't have too many shapes now. No, that's not what I want. And like this will be a... I'll put slopes in coming down and curve that shape in. Like if I can pull off this curve and make a ship that functions and looks good underneath it, I'm going to be pretty proud of myself. <laughs> Thanks, CMPC. Uh, there. Thanks, CMP Cowboy. <laughs> Thanks for seven months. Alright, do I do another 45 there? I think I should. And the 45s will probably be where I put the hide the cockpit in. Oh no, wait, that's too much. Uh, no. That. Although when I say hide the cockpit, I don't really mean hide it, it's... I would like it to be a little bit prominent. I don't think we have the... Oh, no, we don't have that shape. Rats. I'm gonna have to... Okay, maybe this is a mistake. Okay. Hey. Yeah, 
We'll do that. That's better. <laughs> I may well take out all of this I'm, and not make it square. I'm just leaving it square for now. And now for the top curve. This is a lot of armor. I think it's I think it's still carrying the feel that I wanted it to. I kind of want to do this block here. Because I think if I put this on here and then go to this little piece here, it's going to end up looking really... It's going to look more blocky. Although that can then, I guess, transition to... Where is it? This one. Oh yeah, maybe that works. Yeah, yeah. So many shapes to remember that we have, and we don't have that shape. So what's going to look best there? Now, we're going to have to cut off a corner here somewhere, so I'm going to do it at this level. figure out what I can do in that those two pieces. Those two pieces are hard. Need all the seven days to die shapes, yeah. Uh yeah, it's got a bit of the Prometheus in it, Peapok. That's true. Thanks, True Venom. Uh no, I'm not covering every th everything in blocks. The blocks are only going to cover the top and down the sides here. The rest of this is going to be exposed. Um, the blocks are here to sort of create the negative space that's in here. That gives us an interesting... Like, as this thing's flying through, it'll look kind of cool from that, that aspect. Microwave messing up your Wi-Fi. That's rough, Gruz. It's also not something I've thought about in a very long time. Wi-Fi, like, microwaves messing up signal to stuff. I think it's going to have to be that. It's the transition there. Can we do something with this? Maybe that looks better than having the blocks go the whole way. Have two little cutouts. Almost makes me want to do this as well. Oh, actually that could work well. Then we do this. And 
Oh no! No, no, no! Curses! Uh, this way. Yeah! We have a bridge. Give it a reason for having that, this little step in. It also keep- uh, it also creates that extra feeling of scale by making the cockpit window look really small. Looks more like cockpit than bridge. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's copy that and we'll move down a bit. Let's start figuring out this segment through the middle here and then I'll work on this curve down to the bottom here and try and figure out what I'm going to do at the bottom to make this more interesting. Because one of the things I might do is carve out this part. Kind of gives it a sad walrus face. <laughs> yeah, I heard Walrus. Where is the huge Gatling block? Uh, or the or the door that's now been superseded by proper small grid doors. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, I think that's going to be better because then I can do a transition like this. Um... No, that doesn't work. Uh, what do I want to do here? Do any of these work for what I want? Maybe that would be enough. Nope, that was better before. Sad. This is hard. I'm trying to figure out where to leave, where I can get away with having non-smooth segments uh, when I've made so much of it as smooth as I possibly could. It's one of the reasons I often avoid making things smooth in the first place. Um, the smoother you the smoother and more rounded you make it, the harder you make your life down the line.
<laughs> building for beauty, greebling for glamour, styling for success, decorating for delicacy. Okay, I've run out of things. Well, well done, Cypher. <laughs> I, I'm guessing the, um, the isolation is treating you well, <laughs> if that's, if that's the, uh, comment for this morning. <laughs> the walls are closing in. <laughs> yep. Let's try bringing this in as a little bit of a waste instead. I'm not sure it's going to look any good. But bringing that up to there. Just one of the things I'm trying to avoid is this really repetitive armor pattern. Uh, one of the nice things that we can do now that we've got the clean skin armor, the worldless, is get rid of half of them. Like, if I went in here and did this, it nicely breaks up a lot of that. Similarly, kind of continuing that. Even without changing colour, we break up a lot of the repetitive shape there. And it's really useful for that. I've started using it in a lot of places to get rid of um, armour patterns that are repetitive rather than the nice continuous ones that are on the flat blocks. Because I think at a distance that looks a lot better than it did when they were all the same and just that repeating, 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 repeating pattern. I think, I think I'm okay with that. Yeah, a bit of battered can help break things up as well. Uh, it can be useful for that. Downside, of course, is that sometimes you'll then get an armor edge. But we'll work around that once we start getting some colour in this. The white is placeholder. This thing will not be white when it's done. I just wanted to start with a... As I usually do with these builds, start with something really bland and build up from there. Alright, let's get this curve this shape done down here. I could just do something nice and simple and do a 45 and then a 22.5 angle there. Maybe. Let's try it. Doesn't look good. Though that kind of works. I kind of like the adding of a second line in there so it's not just a straight hard edge, it's just, it's a little bit softened. It's funny, the number of, <laughs> the number of ships people are mentioning in chat, and I'm like, that's a name I'm familiar with, but I have no idea what that ship looks like. Um, cause, as has been brought up numerous times thanks to Capac, I don't watch a lot of TV, um, that would have exposed me to a lot of these designs that people mention. <laughs> Hmm. 
Not sure what to do at the back end of this, but we'll see. Let's just do this bit and then figure that out. Okay, I think that's the shape to go with. Uh, but I think that's wrong. I think we need this as a blend. Which unfortunately means I'm not going to be able to do this half lock here, so it's going to eat into the internal space of the ship a bit more. Because I don't want this to just be a thin edge, I want it to actually have some meat to it. So to do that, I'm going to need to have these as full blocks, which may give me more flexibility, uh, assuming I've got enough space in here, which I think I do anyway. Because, um, I mean, I can do different things with the other sides of the block. Yeah. Yeah, it does look a bit like the Omen, that's right. Yes. The cruiser. The Omen was a cruiser, wasn't it, Lohan? Man, it it has been a very, 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 very long time since I played Eve, so... Um, but yeah, it does feel a bit like the Omen. Which to me is not a bad ship to end up looking like. I think it was a pretty cool base... Uh, A pretty solid base design for a lot of things. Let's try this. There's something different. That's what I did here. See if this looks better. Yeah, the front does have a bit of the aeroplane, almost C5 Galaxy look. That's better, isn't it? With that being a bit chunkier. Uh, possibly also looks better because it did get rid of the block edges. Uh, which is always interesting. Uh, I'm not going to do any exterior features like potential windows and stuff like that until I've done the... until I start working on the interior. The exterior shape is going to be the tricky part here. Getting an exterior shape that I'm happy with um, and then working that into some sort of functional ship. I think the, functional, the functionality is going to be the really easy part. Uh, some elements of it may be a bit more difficult, but because I've gone to a full block height on top, adding down thrust, super easy. In fact, I may make an atmospheric and a space version of this ship, so we've got the... Com so it's... it exists in both spaces, which again feeds into the whole... it's the hero ship. Um, and that was a deliberate decision to make this flat on top as a full block. Because one of the things that I really find hard is integrating thrusters into half block designs. Um, so what I need to work out now is this shape. This front part and what I'm going to do with these bits that are sort of the landing platforms. Landing platform for the front and the one at the rear. Uh, so, let's try and make it a bit of an open shell kind of arrangement. Uh, 
Oh no, that's wrong. Should be this. And then that. Yeah. Uh, piston landing gear is ever a good idea. Uh, yeah. Just be aware of some of their pitfalls. <laughs> uh, land, like, using using rotors and pistons and stuff in space can be tricky. But yeah, they can be a good idea. They're never a good idea when Capac suggests it, but they can be. It really needs tusks. With that face, it looks like a walrus. <laughs> hey, speak of the devil. Thanks for the prime sub, Kapak. I'm surprised you didn't jump into voice chat just to mess with me as you did that. Thanks, Graz. Thanks for 28 months. And for being a moderator. If you could have one mod feature added to Space Engineers as a well implemented and complete feature, what would it be? Build vision. Don't even need to think about it. Boeing 747s. Actually, you know what? No. I'm happy with build vision as a mod. I want Digi's paint gun. I want that implemented into the game as the way that we paint, as the vanilla paint mechanic. Then build vision, and coming in possibly in third would be, um, maybe once he's had a bit more time to work out some of the finer details of it and make it a bit easier to work at, Drago's spectroscopy or detection. Because it is more interesting than the vanilla vanilla mechanic. Without breaking it. I don't um, know, it kind of sounds like something your doctor would tell you to come to his office because he's got some bad news about. <sighs> right. But yeah, the paint gun, paint gun I think would be first. So, come back. what I am doing this morning is trying to design a cool looking, well, a unique looking ship, or an interesting looking ship, for ACS that's going to be the thumbnail. I see. And I've designed a walrus. Yes, I saw some discussion about tusks. <laughs> well, look at it. How is that not a like, walrus face? It looks like the front of a 747. But it also looks like a walrus face. Can you not see the big jowls? I guess. <laughs> the other one who normally goes straight to animal faces when describing my builds. Well, it'd be more obvious if it was eating a fish or something. I wonder if I can do this and have it work. Uh, that would need to be one of these. Oh no, I can't do that because that's the curves on the outside. Dang it! Hey, thanks Violet Kitten. Thanks for nine months. Thanks for nine months. Is this what people call a Twitch baby? I will call them Blamo. Uh, well played. <laughs> uh, view message wasted, Kamek? Uh, no. Hmm, what to do here? I don't know how to make this 
have an interesting shape that doesn't... Do I need to... I don't know how to fix this. Uh, what are you trying to do? I'm trying to make this thing look cool at the front without having a big flat bullnose. And also look good from underneath. It's a challenging shape to work with. Well, I mean, it can be flat. You can break it up with, like, different kinds of blocks. Um, like, you could put some of those um, vents or something on it. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a valid point. I'm going to try one thing before I go to that, though. Thanks, LV Trisha. Thanks for three months. Where is the shape I wanted? There. Kavak means round blocks. No, no, he was he was meaning blocks that have decorative shapes in them. <laughs> That's got a big mouth. Uh, it's oh, it, look, it looks like one of those um, uh, groupers or whatever they are. The fish with the big <laughs> mouths. <laughs> yeah, it does a bit. Um, what I was going to try and see was whether putting... Yeah, that doesn't help. It just looks like it's smiling. Uh, thanks, A Space. <laughs> yes, thanks, Jax. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm going to be staring at this face forever and trying to figure it out. You can put a bunch of pillars in there. So it's got baleen. Yep. <laughs> Were you expecting me to get that immediately? Oh, or you could put the... Um... The little tiny triangle corner pieces. <sighs> it's got jagged pointy teeth. You love those things, don't you? Yeah. And it'll look like one of those deep sea fishes. Because they got all the snaggly teeth. That looks less walrus face. Uh. Hang on, just let me finish the sides and then you'll have a better idea of what it looks like. Uh, if it was me, I'd definitely put those two, like, recessed blocks. And make those like vents or something. You can't because they're half oh, they're blocks. Half blocks. Oh, right, of course. But you could use something like that. Oh yeah. Um, but I'm, I'm not texturing yet. Well, all I'm trying to do at the moment is get the shape, and then I'll mess with texture after that. Uh. What I could also do with this, let's just copy this and see if it looks better or worse. Didn't mean to press that. Uh. I'm not sure I've got the shape I need here. I don't think you do. I don't think you can transition from between those two. Thought 
The one on the right looks better, doesn't it? Anyway. Looks kind of weird with it going that high. I had been thinking of stopping it part way. Call it the Snaggletooth transport. Ooh. Maybe. <laughs> mm -hmm. If there was a big blast door at the front. Yeah, that's kind of where I was going with this, because I could delete these two and just put two airtight hanger doors or something, but it's it's not meant to be an internalized space there. Um do to transition that. Oh! You're a dum dum, Switzy. What are you doing? That. Oh, you could put a big blast door and have like grinders behind it so that it opens its mouth and then it eats little ships and grinds <laughs> them down. I mean, you could do this. I don't think it's going to look any good, but... Where did I just put that? There. <laughs> uh, I don't think the gate's going to fit. That's what I wanted. I need a battery. Uh, I think if you're going to do a door, it should probably be four wide rather than just two. <laughs> I mean, it, it could sort of work as a loading bay and have stairs that then go up inside and get you up to the cargo floor. Or a ramp. Uh, uh, waste yeah. looks like he's not too far off. Cool. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure on that one. <laughs> I think I'll stick with the other design. Keep iterating on this one instead. But yeah, the idea of... The big idea with this ship was to have a section of armor that wasn't broken by any functional blocks, or was broken by as few functional blocks as possible, which meant I had to come up with a way of making the armor design interesting. Um, in and of itself. Which is kind of a fun challenge. I'm going to try one more thing. I think it'll make it too bulky, but I'm interested to see how it looks. may make this shape improved anyway. Because it means instead of having three rows at the bottom that are identical, we've now only got two. But it does, unfortunately, mean that there's only a straight, then a 45, then a straight. Well, that's kind of what I had before anyway, isn't it? No, oh, no, I did have a curve. Which do you guys reckon looks better? I actually think the one on the left does. What do you reckon, Kapak? Uh, one on the left. Left or right? Uh, 
They look the same. Nope. They're different. Oh, it's a little bit... Okay. Hmm. Yeah, it's the left the left just kind of eases that big three by three repetitive pattern, doesn't it? Yeah. And I wonder if I can further improve it. Like, I know the one on the right doesn't have the armor edges and blah, 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 but uh, that's fine. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I'm not too fussed about armor edges because I could also do this. shape of one of these that can work here. I think there is. This one. Oh, no, it doesn't. Dang it! Um, I don't think we do have a shape that works there. Poop. I was hoping to figure out a way that I could bring in an extra curve around here. Wait, why not just leave that bit in the middle? Just have the two sort of protruding bits. Well? What do you mean? Uh... So rather than having those three corner pieces along the bottom... Yeah. Have just the two... Take out the middle one. So that it's got two sort of nodules there. Put that block that you've got at the moment in the, the gap at the top. There's a lot of stream delay. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, there. And then put the matching one. Yeah. So then you got those two sort of things. Just have it like that. Don't put anything in the middle. I'm wondering how much stream delay there is here. Uh, it's not a huge amount. Hmm. I think it does look better with the 45s. It's getting a bit too broad. What the? Right, if you thought that's what I said, then there is a lot of stream delay. Yeah, yeah, I, I didn't have any idea what you were saying, no, just Those two on the corner, just remove those two blocks. And leave it like that. It's fine. Yep. <laughs> hang on, I give up. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. That's it. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm going back to bed. Let me let me just share my screen with you. Uh. Hmm. There you go. Latency is much better now, right? Yes. <clears throat> so now you can see with me having basically the copy of this version with the slopes removed. Now, can you describe what you want? What you were suggesting? Uh, go, go over to the one to the right. Oh, yeah. Um, all right, so... Yeah, exactly like you had before. So have those the slopes continuing in those in those top two spots. These yep, ones. Like that. And then put those like those quarter Yep. That's it. Oh, you were saying just leave it at that. Yes. Hmm. Kinda gives a sort of a duplicate ridge shape, doesn't it? Hmm. And then if you if you continue that design, like, one or maybe even two more blocks, 
then they can be the, the tusks of your walrus. But they're like negative space tusks. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying doing this? Yep. <laughs> okay, I wasn't serious about having tusks on this. No, no, that, that part's not, uh, not the tusk. The, if, if you continue that design with bo on both sides oh you'll have the shape of a tusk in the negative space of the gap between the blocks i see i see i see but that's still fun <laughs> <laughs> not at all functional for what i was intending because this was meant to look like it could land on a flat surface um but, but if, if you chop off those pointy bits at the bottom no leave th leave those ones I need to get rid of those. No, just get rid of the two at the bottom. And leave it like that. And then if you continue the design on the next row of blocks. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I see what you mean. I It's not going to... I think it's going to make the back end too big. Well, um, I, I do, back I, too big. What I do, do like the um, amusing... I That's think you probably want the front of the ship to dip down at least one or two blocks lower than the back end. No, because it's it's meant to be something that can land flat. Uh, hmm. So the way that the front end will look that way is this negative space in the middle that'll be in dark. There'll be more up front than there is up the back. So even though they are perfectly level... Um, there's going to be more visual weight toward the front. Uh, are you going to uh, do the landing? I can't, I can't get Capac in this game because it's got some local mods in it. So it's a local only game. The other thing that can be done is that these back legs, instead of being in white, the bottom of it, ta-da! Yeah, that's cheating. No, that's just using smart color design. Grazer, one of the local mods is yours. <laughs> I think. I think it was one of the ones you sent. Oh, I've made enough Jay Leno impersonators in my time. Um, not sure which of these I like more. I kind of do like the little bit of negative space. I'm one. I'm trying to think if there's a way to do a similar thing in here. Like if I pop this one. Yeah, I think one of your thruster mod things. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like the lighting effect that it has. Sweet. I think it adds just enough interest without um, being too much. Cool. I'm actually really happy with how quickly this has come together so far. I wasn't expecting to be able to get uh, a front-end design that I was happy with in this shorter time frame. This bit's going to be tricky though, this transition to these rear parts. And making sure that they're enough wider than the front that it looks interesting from the top as well. I think it's about right being two blocks wider. I think to make it go wider will give it too much of a particular shape, which I'm not trying to go for. Uh, they might... I know I've got some local mods on here, Cruz. Maybe they aren't yours, and maybe I'm misremembering.
But yeah, because it's an offline world because of local mods. Uh, all my uh, ACS build worlds are. No. Might have to be this. And then this. Oh yeah, that could work. That can work. Uh, yeah, it, that's not that's not why uh, it's like that, Gruz. But yes, I guess uh, it would mean I could do ACS work when Steve the Steam is being Steam and doing its Tuesday thing, a uh, Wednesday thing. Depending where you are in the world. It's gonna to need to be that. Annoyingly. There isn't a better shape to do that? I think not, unfortunately. Because I didn't really want to... I have to do that, but I may have to. That's not right. That's not right at all. I don't like that. Uh, I really want this to be a 2 by one slope, not a 45. I don't know where that block just went. Hmm. Yeah, compound curves in Space Engineers are real hard. But when you can pull something off that gives the impression of proper compound curves, it just, it feels so good, and it really makes the ship stand out, I think. Um, the, the ones that imply compound curves or actually have them, they, they really look cool. This is all light armor. I don't I don't build with heavy armor. <laughs> just I, I can pretty much say it as I, I just don't. It is incredibly rare for me to use heavy armor on anything ever. This isn't gonna work. Uh, okay. That's not gonna work. Huh? Why wouldn't that work? Um, because I just I we don't have the angles to go from. What I want to do is transition from a forty-five degree angle to a twenty-two and a half degree angle. Um, and I don't think we've got any blocks that do that. Uh, you have to obliterate the forty-five and then bring two twenty-two point fives to meet it. I don't. Hmm. Come on. Yeah, I can't. I can't do it. I need multiplayer. I need to show you things. <laughs> it's too hard to describe. It is real hard to describe, isn't it? It's all right. Your pain and suffering will be alleviated soon. Replaced with all new pain and suffering. Yeah. Of having to ask me kindly to come and refuel your silly truck you've run off in. Hmm. What? Look 
looking real weird. I was thinking whether it might be possible to create a look so it kind of seems like it, the middle part goes under a bit that arcs over the top as a way to transition it. Uh, I'm not sure it's going to work, but I figure with this sort of stuff it's worth just trying shapes and then seeing what pops to mind. Yeah, it was intended to sound really dark, Crazy Mike. <laughs> that was on purpose. Thanks, Mad Mike. Oh, man. Thanks, Mad Mike, for the prime sub. Uh, I probably could create a world without local mods, but Wasted's already in our TeamSpeak chat. He's muted himself, but he's there. Lying on us. Yes. Lurking, I prefer to use the term. What How's term? it going? You deliberately leaving us in suspense there? I said lurking. I said the term oh. first. Oh, I didn't hear that. My bad. Because he's too absorbed with geometry. It's very absorbing geometry. That's not geometry. It's tricky. If you go oh, too close to it, is. you'll find the blocks that don't line up properly. I mean, yeah, it's certainly not geometry in this dimension. At least not at the moment. Huh. I think it's time Some of these new blocks stupid. have edges that don't line up. Yeah, I know. <laughs> just don't look that closely. Hey, look, there's one. You just put it down. Yes, apparently I'm trying to design an Amar Cruiser in Space Engineers. And of course I go for the most curvy of EVE Online designs. Yeah, should stick with Minmatar. That's where it's at. Just whack yes, a bunch Minmatar of antennas Yes, is very on it. easy for... Oh, I don't have these ones on my Antennas heart. and girders. <sighs> Me dum dum. I do have shapes. Anyway, anyway. Um, now that I've added the correct transition shapes to my hotbar, so I should be able to do some of the weird things I wanted to do. Uh, shall we go play some trucks? Alrighty. Gonna get all my stream stuff ready, I guess. Minmatar stuff's harder than you think as well. Capac seems to design it just by crashing things. Wow. <laughs> Typical Amar. <laughs> the Minmatar design revolves a lot around having multiple different angles. And Space Engineers only gives you two. You got one by one or one by two. Yeah, but solar panels and antennas. Those are two of my favorite things. <laughs> He's not lying. <laughs> uh they really are two of your favourite things, aren't they? Oops. Uh, no, that's probably better before. No, I'll leave that there so I remember what it is, and I will save this, and we will get onto some mud trucking. Uh, let's switch to this one where they can still hear us but I'm not showing any screens I shouldn't that works snow runner and I will get back to designing more of this ship uh, maybe Thursday maybe Friday we'll see one of those two I'll do more I cannot type Capac's name today. Me neither. <laughs> we 
When is this egg timer getting a an update? I don't, uh, once I once I've released my mod, maybe I'll do that. Yeah, come on, Spicy, get on to the analog age. Ooh, a cheeky what? rifter from 2015. <laughs> analog well, age. If, you, if, if you're updating your your. Oh, right. Egg, sorry, egg timer. It's probably the next step has got to be a sundial, maybe, or an analog watch. Well, I was going to do a grandfather clock. See if you could actually use it's a pendulum kind of works. to analog wall. Um, keep time. Mm. Maybe. Depends if you reach that magical speed where space engineers just decide you're not going fast enough to continue motion. Yeah. If you know what I mean, you reach a certain minimum velocity where it just goes round eh, to zero. Eh, can't be can't be bothered to physics that round to zero. You're not going anywhere. Yep. <laughs> Which is why it's so annoying to Q and E roll. Because often in multiplayer it just doesn't move fast enough to consider you as having moved at all. Hmm. Hmm. Can you hear any annoying noises through my microphone? No. Only one. Yeah. <laughs> I was waiting to see which one of you got to that one. Uh, somebody's doing some construction work here and it is drilling into my brain. Ah. Well, I'm going to stop streaming to you, can I? And there's the code that you need for you to join first. All right, I'm going to start my pre-stream. There's wasted code. Of course, we have to wait for a capac. I'm even going to remember to do the thing with my steering wheel where I do the thing that needs to be done in order for the thing to work. Ah. I'm sure there was stuff in so there too. <laughs> I deigned to play games that weren't SnowRunner this week and therefore I had to put my steering wheel into normal mode. You know, the mode that all the other games use. You monster. It's going to be even more interesting next week. I get to see whether or not SnowRunner's happy to play with um, pedals being plugged in via a different USB connector to the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. I don't think it's going to go very well. I see. <laughs> that doesn't sound ideal. Ah, uh, yes. And thankfully, before we've even started, I can start the squad stream. Can you? No, because you guys both need to be live to for it to work. I yep. Think. Correct. I think I could send you invites, though. Which I have done. Alright, I am in the game. Cool. Okay, I'll be in in a sec. Can sit there? down. I've been standing for a little too long. This is the moment, chat. Yeah, me too. It's gonna be putting the thing. Well, I was standing for that whole stream. For an hour and a half. It's long enough. Eisen, I'm taking that as, because I'm still moving, that's you helping me sit down. <laughs> Unless you really want to be a jerk. I'm getting an echo of Splitsy from somewhere. It comes through wasted. Yeah, when I'm setting up, I'm... If you've got to imagine that my race driving setup involves moving the microphone, the monitor, everything oh, forward. Right. So I then have to get at the keyboard, I have to lean over it all, which puts my headset right next to the microphone. How to do it. When, when, we're, when we're doing things normally, you're fine, but this, this is necessary in order to set up a second rig, basically. Get the stream ready. So I've done a thing for this stream, which I'll explain once we actually are live. Mm. Which is going to make me probably roll over a whole lot more.
So is there a you two both kind of ready? Uh, yep. Shall I just shall I do an intro for everybody, or shall I just do it for me? Wasted. What's your preference? Ah, uh, I'm easy. Do you doing it for everybody is fine as long as I, I have the warning. Okay. Let me know when you're ready, and I will give you the warning. horrible thought just how bad it'd be to play with your screen sideways why on earth would you because someone was in my chat saying Splitzy's just going to flip his screen sideways so it looks like he's upright effectively it's a similar mind, mind sort of mental jogging that I went through when I started thinking about how to use a steering wheel and pedals on a stand up desk <laughs> yeah he used one of those uh, dance dance revolution mats and you're getting a workout. <laughs> Where's the chat? Capac chat. Accidentally hit my chat. Wasted hasn't accepted the squad invite. And yes, it did. Yeah, can't you can't accept, accept them when you're not live. Fine, I'll send another one then. Yeah, you could. In, uh, uh, also, yeah, no invites to display. Also, Capac um, did actually accept one yesterday, but it didn't actually accept. And I did one last week that was the same issue. It kind of required me to click it several times. Which has been weird. Kind of with you, but it also says on the Start Squad screen page, everyone needs to be live in order to do it. Wow, you even put me at the top of the poll there. Yep. Just to ensure that it was going to be, well... I don't think there was ever a question, to be honest. My guys what? have far hang too on, much faith on, in on. me, so it's not going to be me. If Kapak is inverted... Even if he can get himself right way up, is that a roll? A roll is a roll. It does not say he gets stuck. It does yeah. not say it so ends up well upside down. First. It's a roll. I say it's a roll if your engine cuts out. Well, it's not your prediction. Yeah, but you don't get to say. <laughs> well, I'm just telling you, that's my criteria for what a roll is. <laughs> you can do with that as you will. <laughs> All yes, right. Are you a ready to go story. Wasted? I am ready to go. Okay. Uh, going